We for sure that there was a great discussion on DirtySports.com probably maybe even a month ago, three yeah. weeks ago. This discussion, and it, you know, it, it's coming even forward more now after Devin Booker scores 70 points Friday for yep. the Suns in a losing game, and obviously Kentucky, how good they've been. The debate and the discussion that I want to do is, would an all-Kentucky NBA team, so all former Kentucky players, mm -hmm. Would they win the title? And it's an interesting discussion. And let's before before I give you my take, we'll give you some of the players. So you, here's what you got. You kind of made a little little roster. Starters: John Wall, point guard; Booker at shooting guard; Demarcus Cousins in the middle; Anthony Davis at power forward; Carl uh, Anthony Towns at the other forward; Julius Randle, maybe a six man. Uh, then you got Eric Bledsoe, Brandon Knight, Michael Kidd, Gilchrist, Ennis Cantor, Willie Cauley Stein. I mean, now, that, that's ten right there. Real, eleven. That's you, eleven. Real quick before dirt balls go. Oh, Ennis Cantor. I get Ennis Cantor never played a game for Kentucky. He was initially supposed to go there. Okay. And there was issues, so then he went to the NBA. Right. But we're including him on the list because he was going to go there. Sure. Fine. So, so that's about the not that not that he makes a fucking difference. No, exactly. And so, so again, so my start. And this is my list. My point guard would be John Wall. Shooting guard Devin Booker, center Boogie Cousins, power forward Anthony Davis, and then the other power forward you either have Carl Anthony Towns or if you want to go a little smaller, Julius Randle. And then, you know, obviously the backups, which you just said, right. Eric Bledsoe, Brandon Knight, Michael Kidd -Gil Gilchrist, Enos Cantor, Willie Cauley Stein. And also that also gives you some more roster spots. Yeah. Not that any team in the NBA is ever going to their eleventh man, but But still, you yeah. have you have like Ray John Rondo. Jody Meeks, Terrence Jones, Nerlens Noel, and Patrick Patterson. Yep. And that doesn't include, you know, I have the full list in front of me of players. I don't know if there's anybody else that might interest you, any of the Harrison brothers. No. They haven't done much. Uh, anyway, so let's... In, fa in fact, most of the deep bench doesn't matter to me because it's the NBA. You're playing, you're playing eight, nine, maybe nine guys. Probably not. Probably okay. eight. Um, so, so th I, again, I think this is a They're great super discussion. Deep. They're super they'd deep. Be, they'd be one of the best teams in the NBA. Super deep, super talented. Would they be the NBA champs? I say no. Okay. And I say no for two reasons. One, when you look at NBA, the NBA playoffs, a great strategy if you're trying to decide who's going to win, who's got the best player on the floor? They win like 60% of the game. 60% of the time, the team with the best player on the floor wins. Oftentimes, the only way that you're competing with the best player on the floor is if you have the second and the third best player on the floor. Yeah. Anytime a team has the two best players on the floor, it's it's like 98% that they're going to win. You have the two best players. If this team goes up against the Golden State Warriors, the Golden State Warriors have the two best players on the floor. Maybe the three best. But definitely the two best. I mean, okay, Ste Steph Curry and Kevin Durant are better than anybody on this team. But I, th I think... I think this is interesting. I'm not, not going to disagree with Durant, but I'd like to talk about Steph. Okay. All around game, is Steph better than Anthony Davis? Yes. But Anthony Davis is, what, his third year in the league? Yeah. Like, he's on his way to being an NBA great player. I'm just saying right now. Because I, I – I, and, and then also you're talking about depth. Oh, let, let's – Let's remind everybody of one thing, too. The Golden State Warriors didn't win the finals, didn't win the championship last year. Obviously, yeah. they didn't have Kevin Durant, but they also set a record for wins in a season, and they're not as good this year. Um, but they're not going for the record again. You know, they're, they're, they're going for a championship. The bottom line is the two teams that made the finals, I, don't, I still don't know. LeBron James is the best player on, on this team by far. It's like, you know. Does this team beat the Cavs? Maybe. Does this team beat the Warriors? No. But see, I find that interesting that you say you're you're quick to say that they would beat the Cavs. Maybe. Maybe. But not the Warriors. Right. I mean, I mean, but let's 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 just go posi position by position because I think this is this is what's interesting. So you have point guard John Wall. Yeah. Versus Steph Curry. Versus Steph Curry. Obviously, Edge Steph Curry. Now let's go shooting guard. Shooting guard, Devin Booker, Clay, Clay. 
hands down. Okay. Small forward. We're talking, I don't know, who's a small forward? Durant? Versus Anthony Davis? Yeah. I mean, Durant. That's that's the closest, but you're still going Durant. I just I Durant's just, the best player on the court. I just think that Anthony Davis defensively. What about Kevin Durant defensively? He leads their he leads the Warriors in blocks. He's six eleven. He's seven foot, but I mean I, I I get it. But Anthony Davis, I don't know, man. He's also getting a ton of assists. Like he's getting triple doubles. Okay, okay so we've broken it down there. Center, obviously. Yeah, you're going to uh, all Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah, Boogie Cousins. And then your last guy is going to be either, like I said, Carl Anthony Towns, if you want to continue to go big, yeah. or a Julius Randle guy who can handle the ball. Versus more. Draymond Green. Pretty good all-around player. Fits in perfectly with the Warriors. Sure. Now, it, two years from now, is Carl Anthony Towns better than Draymond Green? Yes. Is he better than him right now? I don't know. So now you're talking about four out of the five starting positions. You, you go edge Warriors? Okay. But then let's go to the bench. I, I think all Kentucky— Wins it hands down. Yeah, I agree. Right? I mean, sure. You you know, you've got guys like, is Michael Kidd Gil- Gilchrist better than, you know, Sean Livingston? Yeah. I don't know. But the point is. But you be bringing in a guy like Eric Bledsoe. Off sure. The, I mean, even in Enos in Cantor, Willie Cauley-Stein. They would be able to compete because of their depth. Yeah. Okay, let's take the Cavs then. Uh, but again, so here's the thing. On paper, this team is better than the Cavs. But you got LeBron James. You can't put LeBron James on paper. LeBron James, you put him on paper, the paper catches fire and it, and it turns into a goat because he's the greatest of all time. Like, I I don't know who's going to win the – I don't know if the Cavs are going to be the number one seed in the East. I don't know if I would take the Cavs or the Warriors in the finals right now, though, just because LeBron James can do LeBron James things. But also you got Kyrie Irving, you know, great player, love, great player. But that's what I'm saying. Let, let's, just, let's just match it okay. up for discussion's sake. So point guard, you have Kyrie versus John Wall. It's pretty close. I'm going to go Kyrie. Okay. But I agree. I mean, obviously, John Wall is what we would call a, a true traditional point guard, yeah. point guard yeah. you, know, he, you know, who's going to give you the assist and, you know, facilitate. Okay. And Kyrie's more of a scorer, but he doesn't have to be that guy because they have LeBron James. Exactly. So shooting guard, you got the young Devin Booker. Yeah. J.R. Smith when he's healthy. Who are you giving that to? I mean, I'm going to give it to I'm going to give it to the Kentucky team, whether it's Booker or again, you know, you can play Eric Bledsoe at, sure. at, at the shooting guard in your starting lineup if you want it. I think both of those guys are better and more consistent than a J.R. Smith. Okay, and I agree. Center, again, I don't even know who the Cavs play at center. Is that, is that Tristan Thompson? Is that who they would consider their center? Yeah, it'd be Tristan Thompson. So you're going to give the edge to uh, all Kentucky there. Yep. Power forward. That's going to be. For the Cavs, that's going to be um, – well, who is that going to be for the Cavs? Love. That would yeah, be Love. That's what I'm saying. It would be yeah. Kevin Love. So, Kevin Love versus Anthony Davis. Yeah, that's Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis. Yeah. And then – And then it doesn't really matter who, you, what other position we have left over. It's LeBron James, and it's LeBron James. Yeah, exactly. So, it the, again, it would be pretty close. Way more depth on this team, though, right? Way more depth. So off the bench, but the Cavs have the Cavs have really positioned themselves with good good depth now. Yeah. With with Kyle Korver. Nice nice piece off the bench. Darren Williams. Yeah. Meh, mediocre about, piece, off, piece off the bench. What about Channing Fry? Yeah. These and are these are guys. But these are guys who can hit threes. Sure. Fry it, it, and uh, exactly. what's his name? Fry is a guy who exists. And Richard because, Jefferson. Yeah. Those guys exist because of LeBron James. Okay. At this point, but like Channing Fry was, you know, a nice little player, but. He could potentially be out of the league if he did, if he didn't show up on the Cavs and he yeah. just catches perfect passes in shooting motion. So you're gonna give this hands down like like head to head. Okay, let's let's just go. One, let's just take another step. Seven game series. Yeah. Or I actually sh- would this go seven games with the Cavs? Would this go seven games with the Warriors? No, it would not go seven games with the Warriors. I think the Warriors are a better team. This team presents problems for the Cavaliers because of depth, but in the end, I think Cavs win. Maybe it's a seven-game series. Maybe it's not. I don't think anybody. It's just too young a team. It's too young a team to compete with LeBron James. What about the size? I mean, obviously, the All-Kentucky team has the depth. I mean, what about the? I mean, dude, you could potentially start Boogie Cousins, 
Anthony Davis and Carl Anthony Towns. Right. Is that going to present a problem for the Warriors? I, I mean, your, your your boy Poop Sock is all about that size. Yeah, and Poop Sock, you know, Poop Sock is a legend of the dirty sports, but it has nothing to do with his sports knowledge whatsoever. It has to do with that he shits in socks and throws them into McDonald's, <laughs> and he got a Buffalo Bills tattoo on his ass. That, a Buffalo Bills world champion tattoo on his ass, which should say everything you need to know about his sports knowledge. <laughs> and, and by the way, I've said it before, and I'll say it again, it's only such a big tattoo because he had to have the artist cover up the Memphis Grizzlies 24. 2015 <laughs> NBA champions tattoo that he had put on his ass when you can't match up with Zach Randolph and fucking Marcus all um, in the NBA. Now going that big, no one does it. It's all small ball threes. Yeah. It's all small ball. It's all three fast breaks. Yeah. Okay. It's a nice old team though. Might be the third best team in the NBA. You know, there's some sort of dork right now. Who's listening <coughs> Pedote and who's like, well, actually, they did a simulation of this yeah. on NBA 2K, and the All Kentucky team scored 112 points, and the and the Warriors scored 115. But when you look at this team, Brogy, Anthony Davis, Carl Anthony Towns, Julius Randle's kind of uh, unknown at this point. D- uh, Devin Booker, who's obviously he's 20, I think. Yeah. John Wall still young. Th- this. It, three years from now, you might say this team will beats everybody in the landslide. Sure. But right, but right now, are they the best team in the NBA? No. Are they the second best team in the NBA? No, they're not. I think they have an argument for possibly the second best team. You think they beat the Cavs? I think they possibly could. It's just the LeBron James factor. That's the thing. You can't even, I can't say confidently the Warriors beat the Cavs this year. But I was just going to say, I I, I couldn't say confidently that the Warriors beat this Kentucky team. I would love to see this. Obviously, we'll never see this. Right. I would love to see this all Kentucky team. I mean, I don't know another time in basketball where you had this many caliber I'll tell you the, quality I'll tell you what from, it was. from one school. About five, six years ago, you could have made the same argument for guys coming out of high school. All the guys that went straight to the league. You would have had the Kobe, the Garnets, like LeBron you LeBron James. LeBron James. You have you have there was a time when the guys straight out of high school would have been the best team in basketball. It's an interesting discussion, though. Yeah. And, and again, if, if there is a simulation, that means nothing for the record. I, I, I'm so sick of these simulations. Right. It's like they do these simulations every week before the NFL games. I'm like, no, if these simulations were actually factual, then gambling wouldn't exist. Right. Because everybody would just follow the simulation. Soon it'll all be simulation, Andy. We'll all be living in one big virtual reality. Welcome to, welcome to the Dirty Sports Podcast.